Hello everyone, I have the Max Lumi and the paper and today I'm going to do a comparison of how you work with PDF files on these devices. Okay, first I'm going to start with the paper device. It's the more easier one to show how how you can work with PDFs because there's not as much stuff to do with it. So, should just get in real quick, show how to import the PDF uh, document onto the device into a workbook and then all the f different features you get with the paper device and the software that comes on the paper for dealing with PDFs and annotation. First we'll go ahead and power the device on. Okay so we've logged into the paper uh, we powered it on I've already been logged into it I'm in the library and as we can see here I'm in the cloud here as well. Um, you can store some of these uh, workbooks here local to the device but in this particular case I am connected to the cloud because this is how I'm going to get the actual um, PDF onto the device and really it's not being connected to the cloud service uh, CoreLogix cloud it's being connected to the internet so you cannot connect this device directly to your say your PC or laptop to move files onto it and also within the cloud application you can only work with QuirkLogic's format of uh, workbook so you cannot natively drop a PDF file onto this device and then uh, annotate or, or um, do any edits anything like that there on the paper device so what we need to do first is create a blank we'll just create a test oh if I can type correctly so test PDF So we'll go ahead and create this workbook. Okay, so we created the workbook and let's go ahead and search here for the test PDF workbook. We'll go ahead and open that workbook. Okay, so we have a blank workbook here now and in order to actually um, do anything with PDF files what we need to do here is in, uh, insert and when we do the insert we get options here to on the side here of what where we can go to insert something so I want to go into Google because this is where I have the PDF stored and let's select a PDF from here let's select this enterprise ebook which is in PDF format now what happens here if you if you see through this import um, feature here where I'm tr where it wants me to select pages so I can select all the pages or I can select just a few of the pages here that I want to have inserted into this workbook. I'm going to select these three pages and now that the three pages have been inserted or we go up two three and we'll see there's no other page I just created a new one. So if we go back to this particular page here what you can do now is with the pen I can go ahead and write on the PDF and I'm saying PDF but it's technically not a PDF at this point you're really just um, inserting this into the document and it's inserting as an image um, so and this image is glued to the background. It's basically forced on the background. There's nothing we can really do to the PD, 
what was a PDF file after it's inserted into this document other than right on the this actual page so if I try to say select any text it just comes up with the contextual menu here that QuirkLogic has for its software I cannot select any text if I want to highlight I can go ahead and run the highlighter over certain things and you can see that it, it does highlight but it's on top of basically any image that's on this, this document here so it's not really highlighting to the text itself it's just uh, putting a marker basically in the area that I stroke over so that's pretty much it that's all you can really do here there are no formatting issue um, formatting features I can't re reformat the text I can pinch and zoom into the text as so but I cannot change the, the text font at all um, and really the only thing again that I can do on this particular um, page where we've inserted from a PDF is mark it up and that's it okay now let's work with the Max Lumi so the Max Lumi gives you a lot more um, ways to work with PDFs and get PDFs onto the device the Max Lumi supports PDFs natively so you can copy the file to the file storage on this device and it will recognize that and open it up in the PDF viewer on the device so if you want to get the PDFs on here you can connect via USB to your PC uh, and drag and drop the files over that way you can also go to the 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 cloud and push the files via the uh, web portal you can also use the mobile app to also push uh, PDFs to the cloud which will then of course push it to the device itself so once the PDF is on the device all you have to do is either go into the storage location find find a PDF that you've um, copied over to the device and then you can open it from here you can also go into your library if you've pushed the PDF to the device and open the PDF from the library here as so. So once you're in the PDF, you can do a few different things that you cannot do with the paper. And the options are plentiful. It's very versatile and working with PDFs. So if I want to say select a word, I can press hold and select a word. And once I select that word, I can do annotations. And then once the annotation is there, you can select the annotation and you can see it from here. This will show up once you um, export, save it and export it out as well you can come in here and we, what we can do is you get this little this menu here and once you hit the scribble you'll have a lot of different options on what you can do in annotating and writing on this device so right now let's go ahead and select the highlighter you can see the color I've selected as green so I can write on this device in different colors you have green um, red blue white and then different shades of um, gray here all these will show up when you export it out you can clear or erase the actual things that you you annotate on the on the PDF you can drop shapes on here as well 
and use any of the different brushes that are here as well. So let me go ahead and drop a square. Squares on the page. Do a circle. Circle is on the page. And if you need to select any of these, you can just pick the lasso tool. You can readjust the shapes and you can also move them around. You can drop text onto the page as well. Change this to a pen. And if you tap on the actual page itself, let's go ahead and minimize this here. Minimize, you also get other options here for the PDF. If your PDF has a table of content, then you would see that. This does not. If you also had bookmarks, annotations as you can see show up these are the annotations that I put on this document earlier and then any notes where you've scribbled or added any any objects on here will also you can select this option and you can pick those as well let's go back into this menu you we can click on progress and we can kind of scroll around the document to the different pages very quickly from here. You can change formatting. So right now we have the page nation. You can change that. If we change the one here, you'll see it'll rotate. And this one does pretty much the same thing and then you can see it puts it in a different format. Let's go to the single page we can change the orientation. We can change the zoom. We can crop. We can change the width. And reset. So the margins, we can change the margins as well. In the navigation, we can change the the way you navigate the page when you're flipping the pages around. We can do a comic mode. You can select your region on how the page will 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 be formatted. So when you navigate through the pages, it navigates as such, like in the comic book mode or an article. And you can also go in and customize how you um, navigate throughout the pages as well. You can go into split view. Do split view. We can do split view with another document or with notes. Translate. If we do notes. Split view. Go ahead and turn the device. And we can write. back get out of split view and let's see what else can we do here we already went through scribble this is basically where we were able to put the shapes on and and use the pen to highlight or 
right on the PDF. And one thing that's different on here too as well from the paper is you can swipe the pages on here and every page comes by default in the PDF. So you're not selecting which pages you want to actually import in. So that's also a different uh, piece in there. Again, it supports the PDFs natively on this device. get out of this mode there's also some other let me see here let's click the audio if you had any audio we have a speaker here so let's see what this we'll continue forever that cannot have pen unless salaries are increasing at the same pace didn't we already learn this lesson now you can see that it? right now, now that you it's able to read back um, speech or speech to text or text to speech. That's one thing that's not on the paper. You can do a slideshow here. We'll exit this mode. And pretty much that is it. This one here is more the navigation. Go back. So as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do with the Max Lumi device that you cannot do with the paper and working with PDFs. So hopefully that was informative. If you like the video, please give me a like on the on the video. If you like the channel and the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and have a nice day.